What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into another video. Today's video, I wanted to do this video for quite a while, so finally I decided to do it because somebody showed up in my chat. Surprising. Yes, I stream mostly on the Paladins Game Channel, as you can see here. We got here, everybody. Dantius is saying hello right there. And essentially, uh, the Dantius here started playing the game recently, and he wanted some tips and tricks on how he can improve both in the game and how we can develop everything, you know, have more char characters to go into competitive and so on. We're skipping the literal basics here. I'm assuming that you already know what Paladins is, obviously, okay, and if I, if I could put it in a simple way, it's a first-person hero shooter. When it's a hero shooter, it means that all characters have different abilities, ultimates, weapons, and so on. Paladins has a lot of features that other games from the genre can also have, but one of the strongest things that we have in Paladins is their VGS system. Something that allows you to communicate with people by just simply learning some, um, some little shortcuts. And you don't have to type or use your microphone the entire time if you learn how to use this, which is an absolute win in my opinion. But before we get into that, let's get into the first few things you need to do once you start the game. For that same purpose, I've created a brand new account. And the account is right there, the Vora One Trick. Now, notice I didn't do the tutorial um, because I would have received gold. That is the first thing you're going to be needing. From now on, your main goal is to get gold. Now, if you don't know how you can achieve gold, I actually have videos on my YouTube channel. Right in the front page, you're going to find a little Paladins Tutorials playlist. And on the first few videos, you're going to have this, right? How to make gold faster and this is the most updated one I sh in fact i should bring it back up there but this is a video that will teach you how to make gold super super fast like the the fastest possible and because of getting this gold you will be able to purchase characters right so you can see here you're gonna start off with something similar to this now these champions here that have these little wheels those are free rotation champions you got like eight constantly change every week so there is a chance you can play some champions without having access to them so we start off with tiberius saris con lex mave which for some reason is in rotation i do not understand that one furia and then ash and then you have another a champions in rotation right which are the other ones over there we also have victor forgot about that one sorry so your main goal is to literally unlock every champion because why? Because most of you are just amazed with the idea of having to play this game in a competitive mode with rank. You have a rank, you can be diamond, you can be master. It's fantastic, right? But my tip for you, my first ever tip, do not rush it, all right? Take your sweet time. The first thing I ever did on Paladins when I started playing it in order to learn it was playing with every single champion to level four Back then, now you can do it to level 8, which is the last level that allows you to unlock the third talent. Unlocks a mastery level 8. Now, why am I telling you to play literally every champion to level 8? A lot of these champions are very similar in a way, right? It could be their weapons, it could be some of their abilities. Like, for example, some people will argue that Dredge and Betty are very similar, right? Uh, although one has more mobility than the other, but you can see what I'm saying here. There's a lot of similarities between some of the champions, but not every single one of them, uh, sorry, every single one of them is still different in one way. But when you come across these champions on the enemy team, you might be struggling. You might be questioning how some people can do certain things. And the best way to do that is by learning. So playing every single champion to level eight will allow you to learn them, how to play them, how to counter them, and not only that, unlock all their talents, so in case you need one specifically, and finally, uh, also, before we go into the final one, I remember just now, uh, sometimes talents get reworked, and you might say, oh, talent level 8 of Betty is garbage, I don't want to play it. Imagine that it gets reworked from one patch to the other. You might be like, oh, dude, that new talent is fantastic. I want that. Well, yeah, but might as well already have it unlocked. Right? There's no more season pass anymore, so you're definitely going to have to grind for it. So, again, grab every single possible champion, level it up all the way to level 8. 
you learn how to play them, you learn how to counter them, you end up doing loadouts for the champions, which is our next thing you need to learn. How to do loadouts. Guess what? I got a video for that. It's right there. How to create loadouts for every champion. You do not need to worry. Every single champion you might be thinking, oh, I need a loadout for that. In this video, I actually got you. Now it's not, I'm not gonna show you a loadout for every champion, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually achieve those loadouts that you're missing. Um, if you also have like some questions about basics, basic stuff, there is, however, two places where you can go. I'm gonna be leaving these links in the description. One, it is the learn section of the Paladin's website where you can go and it will actually explain to you, you know, you have your champions, choose which champions you want. All of them have different abilities. They can be different classes, healers, tanks, damages. Uh, you also have different cards which you create the loadouts to amplify certain things. Uh, maybe you, you want movement speed, maybe you want damage on more on one of the ability, maybe you want more ammo, stuff like that. And then you also have the talents which will be like a card, but it's like the strongest card, right? And then you you mix and match talents with loadouts, your, your made loadouts already. And then finally, while in the game already, on contrary to Overwatch, you cannot switch champions, right? So you're gonna have to play with what you have. But there is a little bit of a salvation there. In case you're going up against a champion that it's really, really obnoxious against you, and you have no idea how to counter it, go and learn the items from the item store. I actually have a video on that, but I forgot to add here. In fact, I might do one new because uh, the one I did do was very long ago and therefore it's outdated. So we're gonna try to bring that back and I'm gonna do that one video and put them in that playlist as well. So you can learn what every single one of the items do, right? You're a brand new, a brand new player and you don't know what resilience does. Well, guess what? I'm gonna teach you. But it's there's no better way to do that than actually reading, right? That's one thing that a lot of people fail at. You can come in here, read the talents. You can come in here, read the abilities. You have the simple version or the advanced version. You can come in here, press to create a loadout, press one card and then read all the cards. And imagine what kind of mix and match combos you can do with all of this, right? You think of the talents, you think of the cards. And like I said, the video of how to do loadouts is there. So go and check it out. So. Things that you can modify on champions, talents, loadouts, and then items inside of the game. So you can vary, vary the gameplay a lot, not only to your advantage, but also to sometimes get a more fun gameplay by playing the exact same champion, right? Which is fantastic. So you have this section here of the uh, learn, which then allows you, you go here into certain sections, like choose your champion. It shows you all the champions and you can go and select and see what every single one of them does. Or for example, the basics on the item shop right here. They have this one here, which was done a while ago, I believe. Uh, then have the game modes. You got the account linkings. You got, for example, how to play like a pro, customize your loadouts, some more advanced stuff, talents, the VGS system that I told you and some more stuff like for example to ranked but again like i said do not go into rank until you have all the champions and until you have them all level eight not only will you get muscle memory to all the different champions and you might even learn some new tactics for your main champion the champion you're gonna love more right then you're also gonna have every single one of these champions available because the difference between casual which will be emotes like for example like this um, let me just select the area of the region. You got modes like Siege, which is a point in the, in the middle of the map. You try to capture it, the team that captures it at payload spawns, and now you gotta push it. The enemy team has to defend it. The first team to get four points, you get points from capping, defending, attacking, uh, pushing the payload to the other side. The first team to four, get four points wins. The Onslaught, I literally 10 damped that match with just a section in the middle of the map where you have to stand to collect more points. Obviously, you still get points for kills. And then you got the payload, which is literally two rounds. The team that pushes the payload the furthest wins. Siege Remixed, which is a old, old Siege mode that doesn't exist anymore, but they still kept the same mechanics of the normal Siege, so it's easier for you. Where you have to still go into a specific point that will be selected. There's three different in the maps. The maps are huge. And then you have to cap them, push the payload still to the enemy side. And you're the first team to get four points wins. You then have the rank section, which is what a lot of people want to go. But once you try to go in there, it says you must be level higher than 50, 15. 
and own at least 18 champions. The reason why that you need to own 18 champions is because there's 10 picks and 8 bands. And the chance that you might run out of choices if you're the literal last pick, because this is by turns, it's pretty high. So you want to have all the champions, in my opinion at least, because you might want to trade with somebody, okay? That is one of the hugest tactics in ranked. And once you get in there, you'll see the people will start asking, can you save me this? Can you save me that? Or uh, does anybody want to save? And you save the character for somebody else and then they switch with you. Because in rank, you can actually switch characters. It goes by rounds. First, somebody bans, then somebody picks, then it's your turn. Then you pick for somebody or pick for yourself. And then in the, in the final section, you trade whether you want or, uh, you know, whether you already had a plan or maybe you just prefer it that way. Stuff like that. And to have every single champion and have them all level 8 with all talents unlocked, possibly already some loadouts in every single one of the champions, you're ready to go, right? You won't have any problems. You won't be like, oh, I don't have cards or loadouts for IO, and I picked her by accident, and nobody switched with me. Listen, you don't gotta worry about it, all right? This way of getting all champions level 8 and get them all with talents and loadouts and such, and learning them a little bit, how to play them, how to counter them, will be your best guide in this game, okay? You with time, you'll get practice. If you are scared of going into casuals, you can go into bots. Although my my honest opinion is go into casuals because even though you might have a bad experience, it is still better than playing with bots. Bots are too predictable. They will not be the same in competitive. They will not be the same in casual. Sometimes casuals can be even easier because players can sometimes be very unpredictable and they might be standing there still, do nothing. So stuff like that can happen. Um, but like I said, you can come in here in case you're having a hard time just testing out a champion for the first time. And now brings me into the very important section, which is the shooting range. In the shooting range, you will be able to test every single champion for free. All right, you do not have to own them. Then you can also select all their talents for free. And then recently they added an extra thing, which you can edit loadouts while on the shooting range, which means you don't have to constantly go back and forth, and back and forth. You can go in there, grab one of the three def default loadouts that every champion has, and then switch it to your tasting. You know, you just go in there, oh, let's try a loadout here. And you try it on the boss that are there on the shooting range. It's absolutely fantastic. It will definitely help you a lot. I guarantee you, you will be spending a lot of time on the shooting range. It will be your best friend when it comes to testing things that you don't own or the things you might want to try for the first time. Customs is the last section. This does not give you any XP whatsoever, gold, or it helps you in missions. So if you want to have some fun or check out maps, then yeah, sure. This is the place to go. Uh, you have some modifiers to make some fun game, game modes, but... In my opinion, stick to this one here first, and obviously the shooting range. And, if I didn't say this yet, you can do the tutorial immediately to get some gold. I already said this before, uh, I already have the video on how to you can get gold. One of the sections I talk about this, which is the achievements, and one of the, the achievements that gives you a lot of gold is the tutorial itself. Once you do the tutorial, I think it gives you a total of... There you go. Well-trained, complete the Paladin's tutorial. You do the tutorial, you get immediately XP for your account, and then 25,000 gold. I don't know why they put XP for 40,000 XP, but, you know, there will be bugs. It's completely normal. Don't let it affect you. And since we're talking about not letting it affect you, let's talk about it. One of the things you're going to be facing a lot, it is unfortunately toxicity. You will be playing bad because you're brand new to the game and you know it. You know it. You know you're going to be bad and people are going to be mean to you. But there are tools that will allow you to overcome this, okay? First of all, you can try to ignore them. Don't answer back. I guarantee you the worst thing you can do is try to answer back to anybody. All right? You might be thinking, no, man, I, I, I'm, I'm cool. I'm be, I'll be careful with my words. Even saying something as, like, plain as, oh, your mom, could definitely get you banned. So, my honest opinion, just maybe don't answer, right? If they start complaining about you, if you're doing something that it's worthy being banned for, like jumping off the map on purpose, then obviously he'll report you and you'll get banned. But if you're just playing the game and you're just not playing it according to his expectations, then let him cry about it. It ain't gonna ban you for reporting you, so let him talk. All right, just keep playing, learn the game, 
keep going for it. Eventually, you will get it. All right. So my first few tips, take a look into those, those videos so you can know how to achieve more gold, how you can level your champions faster, uh, how some of the basics are. I will do the video on the items, which will also help you. You can also check that out later. And another thing you can do is also check out the channel. Over time, I'm already starting this new series of simple guides with certain champions. For example, I just did one with Lilith, where I teach you how to play with Lilith. And then on the second part of the video, I teach you how to put these things in practice and gameplay. All right? And I'm going to be trying to do this with every single champion in 2023. Let's see if I can actually achieve it. And, you know, you might want to take a look into it. So essentially what I'm saying is keep it cool. Play do everything possible there is to be done so you can get a lot of gold. Get every champion available to you and then put them all in level 8. Create loadouts for everything. And only then you should be ready to go into competitive and have fun there. Okay? If you don't want to go competitive, I don't judge you. Please, just just play the game normally. Play casually. Play with your friends. You can play in a 5 stack, okay? Invite your friends. Invite your family. Play the game. It's free to play. Get everybody on board, go and have some fun, all right, and just learn it slowly, all right, just practice, learn it, read it, one of the most important things in this game is reading it, sometimes there'll be typos, sometimes there'll be stuff that it's poorly written, but still, a lot of the information is hidden in the details of the abilities, the items, the talents, the cards, everything needs to be read, so you understand what you're missing, I guarantee you, this will help you a lot, so, Go into those games, try it out. Uh, there is a current bug that I'm just going to say this real quick. You see this little 0 to 2 on top of this mode and this mode. So as you can see there, it gives you gold if you play two of these modes, right? Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't say on top of Siege Remix and Payload. It's not because I already played it. It's because it's bugged. It's still there. So my advice is play these two first. You know, get that gold, 300, 600, and then play these two as well. They both also give you 300. So another 600, 1,200 gold just straight away from playing. And then you can go into the shooting range. This is also another thing that I already... Not shooting range, sorry. Ta uh, training uh, tab. And this is something I already explained on the video of how to make gold. Um, like I said, I'm going to put these two pages there on the description of the video. This is one final one that I wanted to show you which um, the our current community manager has decided to add a new returning and new players guide. So you will have a lot more information here that you might be missing. All right, you definitely want to learn it. Uh, oh, and for the main tips of the game, I almost forgot about this. Like, what am I doing? Stick together to your team. Don't play solo. Don't play the hero. This is a team-based game. Play it together with your team. Learn to compromise a little bit. Maybe you have to play support. Maybe you have to play tank. Um, just play together with your team. Try to help them and they will help you back. And try not to be toxic. All right. You'll enjoy this game a thousand times more if you just keep it like that. If you just keep it, you know, fun. Uh, don't stress about it. If you're starting to stress about the game, then just have a little break. Go play something else that it's not multiplayer. Maybe like a history game. Or maybe just go outside and try to figure out what the color of grass is. And that's it, folks. Okay, there's not a lot more. I will be leaving in the description a little pinned comment. Uh, with some more information that might come across my mind after. And if anybody who's watching this video thinks that there's information that it should definitely be transmitted into new players as well. Please, by all means, go there. All right. The classes, like, that's easy to understand. You got damages. These guys are definitely the champions that have to do damage to shields, to tanks, and to everything else. Just destroy everything possibly. Flanks are the ones with high mobility that have to go and finish off kills. Still, don't go by yourself. Try to play it with your team, alright? Don't be the hero. Tanks. Now, this might come as a shock to you, but there's different different sections of tanks. There's the off tank, which is the offensive one, and there's the point tank, which usually is the main tank that people just think that they should be sitting on point. It's not. They fight over the control of the point. They fight over also pushing the enemy team back. You might actually play point tank and not even touch that point once by just standing in front of it and pushing it the enemy team back and giving your team space so somebody else can cap it a support a dps a sniper something somebody else can cap it while you're just creating distance right you can be playing with two tanks in one team and both of you will just defending each side it'll be fantastic you'll see what i'm talking about and then you've obviously have the supports the ones that heal right 
there will be ones that are more for the aggressive side than the actual healing side, and then there'll be hybrids. With time, you'll learn, and there's definitely tutorials on my channel for a lot of these champions. You can just go in there. You literally can just go there on my YouTube channel, right? You go here, my channel. Yes, this is in Portuguese. A lot of Portuguese. And once you're here, you go into this little magnifying glass. Let's say you want a video about Furia. Boom, you just type Furia here. How to play Fury in 2023. Oh, no, that's the Rise of Fury. Sorry, that's the game mode. That's not the that champion. Sorry. This one here is a little uh, loadout that I created for her. It's pretty good. You, cannot, you guys can give it a try. Uh, there's other videos here, a little bit older. That you can also check, for example, for Furia, about their lore. That's one of the things I also cover a lot. There's a lot of lore in this game. Uh, they're constantly trying to improve it and make it even more rich. And I'm also covering that all of the time. You can then, for example, let's say... Vora, my main champion. Who knows? How to play Damage Vora. Lore tips and tricks video. New Vora lore chronicles. You know, Vora that I see. I guess I also do Vari uh, .exe videos. They're also very, very fun. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything I should be missing here. All right, check out the, the channel. Check out these two links. They'll be in the description. And uh, like I said, I'll be creating the video of the items in a bit as well. And then uploading it and putting it up on that playlist as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy Paladins. And I hope you share it with your friends. And uh, good luck out there. All right, bye-bye.